Hey gang, Zippo. Um, I will do another video to explain why there's not been very many videos coming out here uh, as of late. Um, but uh, right now I'm going to talk about what has quickly become my favorite uh, type of sites, open sites. Um, I, I do have a couple of scopes and a, and a red dot and uh, a holographic uh, scope and things like that. but. When it comes to open sights and uh, my fading eyesight, I have found um, that I can greatly improve and increase my accuracy and repeatability by using a particular uh, type of sight that comes from a company that a number of us, I'm sure, are real familiar with. And that would be the HiViz Shooting Systems Company. Um, but my first experience with the high vis was when I purchased my Ruger Mark III uh, Hunter Target Edition, um, as can be seen here with my red dot scope. Uh, we can see we are clear. No magnum magwell. Okay. Now these fiber sights, even if all you have is one on the front. Are, they're just great for pushing that front sight right onto target and, and squeezing your rounds off. Um, and that's just the whole reason uh, for the video is to push the high visibility sights. I like iron sights. There's nothing wrong with iron sights. All of my uh, North American arms sport the iron sights and they're good for close, close up. But if I want to hit something at 100 yards uh, without the use of the uh, red dot or a scope, my high vis sights get me in a lot closer. Okay, so this particular uh, setup here, as you can see on the rear sight, all it is is a V notch with a white line, and then I set, and you can see my high vis back there, in through the scope. Just line those two up and drop that red sight right down into the groove. Bang! I'm done. Real quick and easy. All right. So uh, after discovering that my accuracy is improved with the high vis sights on my Ruger I then found a set of high point or high visibility sights for my Ruger 1022 and you guys are gonna look at my Ruger 1022 and say what happened to your walnut stock well I'll tell you guys all about that here in just a minute um, but as we can see here on the end of the Ruger 1022 it is an iron sight that uh, uses the high vis with the typical key that you can exchange the pipes for uh, different colors and different diameter uh, apertures. I don't know if aperture would be the right word for it or not, but um, at any rate, uh, there's the front sight and the back sight. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to show you guys. Get it back here so you can see it fairly well. The rear sight. I'm going to get a flashlight so you can really see it. And this again, this is also a high vis. If you look, there's a uh, horseshoe, high vis horseshoe there that uh, is used to collect more light uh, rather than just having two little dots of plastic uh, visible on the site when you've got the site up there. So, as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of backlight so you can see how they come into play. And then I don't believe, no, nope, I don't have enough room to uh, get my, uh, get around my tripod and get my sights lined up to show you the sight picture. But the high vis sights, I, I've just, I've grown to really like them. So uh, each new rifle that I pick up or, or what have you, I look for uh, aftermarket high vis sights. And uh, my latest purchase as far as rifles go is one that has been on my want list I've got to say since the late 80's uh, in that time frame and uh, that's an old lever action now there's a number of companies that make lever actions but and I just wanted an economical 22, 22 lever action for going out and planking and having a little bit of fun with and uh, to work myself up possibly later on to getting a uh, 45 long colt but Henry repeating arms mercy sakes 
Tack drive and accuracy right out of the box. Just absolutely fantastic. Okay. So here's the Henry Lever Action 22. It's just the base model, 18 and a half inch barrel, not the carbine. Uh, iron sights, uh, adjustable for windage, side to side here. Uh, adjustable for elevation here. And then hooded front sight, as can be seen there. I don't know if the flashlight will let you guys see in there any better or not. We'll see. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe we can zoom in a little. There you go. Okay, the hooded front sight. And uh, I did discover that Hi-Viz does make an aftermarket sight for the Henry. And it just came in today. I've not gotten it installed yet. But there we go. Henry. Hi-Viz shooting systems. Rifle sight system and there it is uh, it's a direct replacement take one screw out take your mag tube out and slide this on and you're off to the races the top of the uh, of course I forget what it's called now the, the shield that covers the uh, sights um, is hollowed out on top so that you've got light and you can even see through the plastic uh, it's just got awesome light going through it so I'm looking forward to putting that on they all come with the key I've probably got about five of these five six of these keys now and they also all come with a uh, variety pack of the uh, different types and sizes of uh, different colors types and sizes of pipes so um, if you've got a rifle and uh, you like to use the open sights like to use your iron sights Check out high vis See if they don't have a set of uh, high visibility uh, fiber optic sights for you. Uh, they really do a great job of helping you get on target a lot quicker. I wouldn't say so if I hadn't experienced it myself, and I'm really looking forward to getting those on that Henry. Uh, so, again, everybody, I apologize for not getting out uh, any videos here recently. Uh, I've kind of had a life-altering uh, situation here. I, like I said, I will explain that in another video. I went to visit a good friend uh, out in Ohio, uh, Grover Hill, I think is where he's at, um, just yesterday. And we went out and I took my rifles and we had a good time uh, shooting. Uh, all the kids got involved and got a lot of video footage of that. And I've got to get everything all spliced together for it and whatnot. But in that video, you guys will also uh, get an expl a partial explanation and understanding as to why I've not been putting videos out. Some of you I've talked to in emails and talked to in personal message uh, messages are already aware. So uh, everybody just hang in there. I'm working on getting some more videos out with the tractors as well. I've had some requests there. I'm going to do my best to uh, get on my game and get out there and get these things done. So, it's a Zippo. Go get high-vis sights for your rifles and pistols. Please. <laughs> and no, I'm not getting paid for uh, pushing these guys. It's just uh, the real nice uh, shooting systems that they've got. Alright, a Zippo. Later. I'm out.